I've kind of fallen out of love with Club D Nui Intense Man, unfortunately. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little re-review and comparison today on this Club de Nui Intense Man and this Insurrection Pure 2. Both these fragrances received a lot of hype in the fragrance community because they copy Creed Aventus. Pretty much one of the best fragrances ever. It just smells so good. You could wear it at any time. It garners unbelievable compliments. Just a fantastic fragrance. I've been doing a lot of testing with this. I probably wore each one of these fragrances for about three to four days, kind of going on an Aventus style run. I wrote up pros and cons to each of these fragrances. I'm going to bang them out real quick. The two things I find that these have in common is that they borrow from the strength of Aventus. So Aventus is a compliment getter. It just smells so fresh and so good and both these fragrances utilize that right here and both these fragrances kind of have like a fleeting smell to them so although they last for a decent amount of time this one more than this one you really don't smell it on yourself which is a little bit weird it kind of happens with certain fragrances but i will find that most fragrances i will smell little hints of myself down the line with this once you spray it you spray it up a lot you don't really smell that much on you at all for this one is one of my highest compliment getters so people are smelling you you just don't smell it on you so the two things they have in common is they're going to borrow the compliment factor from Aventus and they both have a fleeting smell so you're going to spray up but you can't really smell it on yourself although other people will smell you. Let's jump into the pros of Club de Nuit Intense Man. The pros, not too many pros, not too many cons because again they're utilizing the pros of Aventus so it's like that's pretty much where the main strengths is going to come from. The best one with this one is the compliments and the projection basically. Those are the two pros to this one. People have said that they've smelled me 10-15 feet away. Apparently this has been reformulated but I still find it to be very very strong it's still a compliment getter for sure i haven't got any compliments with insurrection pier 2 yet although i've been wearing it but this is one of my highest compliment getters of all time so i had to put that in the pros of this fragrance that and it has insane longevity and projection i'll give it that the cons i've kind of fallen out of love with club de nui intense man unfortunately and mainly because of this off-putting vibe now people say it's kind of got this dirty smokiness it's got this weird vibe it's almost kind of like wet or soggy bread like that's the best way that I could describe it and again that's not hitting the nail on the head that's not like what I would think you're gonna describe it as but when I spray up on it I get a little bit of that smell deep down I'm like okay when it goes away I was getting only that smell only that off-putting vibe a day later so I'm assuming that off-putting vibe is them trying to give more power to the fragrance and this fragrance does have a lot of power the off-putting vibe I don't know maybe it's like 10 15 percent it's not overpowering the fragrance it's just there and to me I just don't want to wear anything with any off-putting vibe when I have so many fragrances that smell so good that I like so much I'm just not really into that off-putting vibe. Not very many pros, not very many cons. That's the cons with Club Teen Nui Intense Man. On to Insurrection Pure 2. I kind of grazed over this fragrance. This fragrance has a lot of hype because it is an Aventus style fragrance, an Aventus style clone. Everyone seemed to prefer Club Teen Nui Intense Man to it when I got it. It just seemed kind of like a weaker version of Club Teen Nui Intense Man, maybe a little bit more smooth. Let's jump into the pros. After respraying it, this one is very smooth, very fresh, very clean. I would not say that this really Really smells smooth fresh or clean although it does utilize the Aventus DNA it just isn't smooth fresh or clean which I appreciate this one this one also utilizes the pineapple I think the pineapple is one of the cornerstones that gives Aventus its unique style smell and there's another fragrance called La Adventure by Alhara Main which actually might be my most recommended fragrance in the Creed Aventus line but I haven't sprayed that fragrance in years when I got it I got the full bottle I sprayed it through it got a lot of compliments but unfortunately I sprayed the whole bottle so I cannot test it again but law adventure the only problem i had with law adventure was that it had more of a lemon style note versus a pineapple style note and it's amazing how much the pineapple really just really makes this fragrance it really makes it unique not very many fragrances utilize pineapple a lot of fragrances utilize lemon i do appreciate the pineapple on this one that's the pros now the cons is that i haven't received any compliments yet although i do think this will garner compliments because it smells like creed aventus i have not got any compliments with it yet and it seems to not be that strong of of a projector i've been trying these out as much as i can and like i said they're both fleeting fragrances so it's really hard for me to tell how long it's lasting or who can smell what on me i can't really compliment on that but so far i just really enjoying the pros of this that it smells so fresh and so clean although it does not last as long full transparency has not given me a compliment yet in conclusion you probably want me to say hey you gotta buy this because this is the best one i'm just kind of being honest with you guys i'd almost want to maybe mix these two because you 
you get the power of this with the smoothness of this. I really like this fragrance, guys, and I really enjoy the, the smooth factor and the clean factor is really what's making or breaking these fragrances for me. It's kind of hard for me to for sure pick this one because this one's garnered the compliments. Like I was saying, I'd almost recommend Al Haramein La Adventure just because it seems to have that clean vibe, but also the high projecting vibe with the only negative being that lemon note. Man, if that had the pineapple note, I think that one would be the winner. And it's funny because I was always a Club de Nuit Intense Man guy to the death, and now I'm kind of switching up things, but this one still is a highest compliment getter. I've recommended this to people. I bought this as gifts. It still is a high compliment getter. Let me know what you think of Club de Nuit Intense Man down below in 2020. Let me know what you think of Insurrection Pure 2. Now, I know the high oil houses like Alexandria, Central Obsessions, Dua, all those guys, their Aventas is spot on. It's way better, but this is kind of like for the normal people buying normal bottles, 3.4 ounce, things like that. I'm kind of staying in that realm. So if you have any more that you'd recommend that are cheap and for 3.4 ounce, let me know. I know that they came out with a stronger Armav, but I don't really want to spend $70 on an Armav fragrance, and that's what it was most recently. And they made like an EDP of this, but all of these are so expensive. I'm gonna wait until they, they die down. But if they are good, let me know which fragrance is good and I will pick it up as soon as possible. Thank you guys for all watching my video. I appreciate it so so much this is more smooth but no compliments no projection this one's really rough off-putting vibe lots of compliments lots of projection that's the simple answer but we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace And then I got, got 